Hi, Gemini. Welcome to your October reading for Career and Money. This is a general reading and it's a collective reading, so it's not going to resonate with every Gemini out there. If it doesn't resonate with you, check out your moon and rising signs. And if you're still not finding your answer, you know, go to God and ask Him or whoever it is that you uh, work with, the universe, the field, whatever you call Him. Um, because I assure you, if you are looking for an answer, He wants you to have one. Okay, so for now we're going to say, God, guides, angels, archangels, and Holy Spirit, we thank you so much for the tarot as a tool. We thank you for clear and concise messages, for clarification, confirmation, and validation. And we thank you for love, light, and prosperity as we walk through the energies of career and money for Gemini in the month of October. Show us the three main energies. Wow, destiny. Suffering in silence. And intuition. Okay. This is exciting, Gemini. I, I'm feeling like there's some kind of calling <sighs> on you. We're gonna oh we're gonna we're gonna clarify with the uh, Arcanum tarot. And while I'm shuffling, just so you know, I'm in I'm a new channel. I'm almost two months old, and uh, at the end of every message, I do a PS. So stick around till the end so that you can hear that PS. Sometimes it's completely uh, a whole different message, and sometimes it very strongly confirms the message on the table. Always an exciting part of the reading. Okay. God guides angels, archangels, and Holy Spirit. We thank you for showing us these energies that Jim and I will be navigating as they roll through the month of October. And we ask you for clarification on this destiny card, on the suffering and silence card, and on the intuition card. Show us clearly what are these cards about? What are these energies pertaining to? For destiny, we're getting uh, Nine of Wands. And we're getting Two of Pentacles. And for Suffering and Silence, we're getting the Five of Pentacles. Mm -hmm. And the Moon. And for Intuition, we are getting oh, the Ace of Cups. <clears throat> huh. And the Two of Cups. Okay, now I just want to let you know this is not a love reading. This is a career and money. So I do know that um, this is not going to be about love. It's, it's going to be about, we'll get to it. Okay, we're going to start with destiny. Okay, destiny is the same as the wheel. And whenever the wheel comes up or, or uh, in the regular tarot, it's about, you know, the wheel's always turning. There's, you know, it's like an ebb and flow. The ocean comes in and, and comes out. It's, it's part of, of nature. It's natural. So whenever you get the wheel, it's understood that you're on the top end. You're coming to the top end of the wheel. That, that the wheel's starting to turn your way, and it's faded. It's that time for you. Um, you see right here, there's there's a light shining within her. It's shining in about the area of her sacral chakra, which is where we create things. Um, and it's coming out of her crown chakra. I was going up her spine. It's coming out of her crown chakra, which... Um, which is, is, it's connected. It's burning through you, whatever this creative idea is, and it's faded, okay? Now, you have the Nine of Wands. So I feel like this may be um, a project, and it can be within your same company. You know, possibly you're in a company where you've been trying to instill some changes uh, or whatever for a very, very long time. And it's very important to you that these changes become part of that company. It could be that uh, you're wanting to 
move up in the company, you're wanting to change companies, it could be your own company or it could be you are wanting to go to work for yourself, but it's something that you've wanted to do for a long time. And with all these wands back here, it tells me that, you know, you've not only have you wanted to do it for a long time, but you've had a lot of experience in that area and you really feel like you can add benefit. It can be from personal life experiences. It can be from situations there at work. Whatever whatever it is for you, Gemini, you, have, you feel like you have rode this out and you feel very not only capable, but the perfect person to do whatever this is that you've got burning from in here this new creative idea okay and it's and you feel like you are definitely the one for it um this this card is the two of pentacles it is the same as the two of pentacles in the regular tarot this guy in this particular uh deck though if you look at him he's he's got a happy face he's not stressed with his balance with balancing these pentacles and in the regular tarot, there's one up and one down. In this one, he's got them pretty even. So this is telling me that not only do you feel like you're the best person for the job, but you've got things balanced in your life to be able to move forward with it. The other thing is, back, back behind him, there are two ships about to cross back there on that ocean. and But the ocean is very smooth. There's, it's not rough water. There's not any craziness going on. So in your space, in your personal space, you feel very balanced and able to walk forward with this. So you're feeling like you know this is your time. It's like Gemini. There's something inside of you that's saying, it's my time. I know it's my time. And if I feel like the universe is agreeing with you. Yes, it's your time. Yes, you've been through a lot. You've got the, the experience to back it up, and you're balanced. You can handle it. Okay, so why would we get the Suffering in Silence card? It's the same as the Nine of Swords in the regular uh, tarot. And in the, in the traditional tarot, whenever you see the Nine of Swords, that person's like up at night, not crying necessarily, but stressing out over all kinds of stuff. This woman in this particular deck, she's not doing that. OK, she has acknowledged every step that she has taken on her journey to get to where she is. OK, and she's at the top of this little rock and she's very engaged with that sunset over there or sunrise, whichever you want to look at it as. But the point is, it is the light. Whenever I see the light, golden colors, yellow colors like that, I feel like that spirit. So this is telling me that you are very connected to and waiting on or watching spirit for guidance, that that is how you, that's how you roll. That's how you got to where you are. You do it that way. You're feeling a little left out in the cold. Um, perhaps you're feeling like people aren't giving you the credit that is due to you right now, Gemini. Perhaps you feel like the, the people in your company or the people in your space aren't acknowledging these steps that you've climbed to get to where you are, these rods that you've overcome in your, in your life, in your job that can uh, assist you forward. Perhaps that's what's going on right now and you're feeling a little low about it. But here's the deal. The moon's coming up. So there's probably some things that you're not aware of in the situation at hand, but this is what the moon tells me. Do you see how even in a full moon, right? Even in a full moon, you can't see everything. It's dark outside, so you can't see everything. You can see a ways in front of you, and as you start to walk toward, you know, walk out into that space, the further you get out, you get to a point where you turn around and that you can't even see where you started. OK, the, the moon is telling me that they it's, it's asking you actually to continue to have faith and take it one step at a time. These things that are making you feel uh, a little left out, perhaps you're not aware of what's going on behind the scenes or, or possibly aware of what your 
spirit team is doing behind the scenes but I don't see where they're saying to take action or charge forth I just I just see a lot of of how you're feeling right now except I see something coming up but um but right now they're they're asking you to even though you're feeling balanced even though you're a very balanced person you're feeling like perhaps you don't necessarily fit in where you are uh, you're a little left out okay so you've got some intuition going on and this is uh, the two which is about creation it's the same as um, the high priestess and so what this is telling me is that whatever this is inside of you that 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 you feel so creative about Gemini you know that this is your destiny you know this is your time but you're feeling just a little bit stuck because you don't you're not it, it, you're not being able to express yourself where you are so this is saying hold tight to your intuition and keep your channels open for guidance because the universe is about to move for you I don't feel like you need to go out and do anything I feel like the universe is going to be coming in whenever I see an ace that's the universe handing you something the universe is about to come in and hand you an opportunity that is going to fill you up emotionally and whenever you do that this is going to be the result where you will be able to come together with yourself this part of yourself that feels a little disconnected a little on the outside no more whether it be within the same company that you end up getting a promotion they give you this project that you've always wanted to do they say hey what do you think we need to do and you get to create something totally new in the company or you go start something on your own whatever it is this universe it's going to be it's it's going to be you're going to know it's a gift from the universe because your your gut is going to tell you and you're going to know you're going to be able to grab that cup and take it and run with it and you're going to be complete in yourself emotionally physically spiritually in all ways as far as your career goes this is beautiful i mean like this right here for these two cards to come out back to back there's 78 cards in that deck, and I shuffle them all the time. This is incredible. The universe is going to say here, and now you're whole. I have to be careful when I say that because it's like the it's like sometimes we sit there and we we think we're just supposed to wait for the universe to do something in us. But there's a lot of work we have to do. But this right here tells me you have been doing the work, Gemini. You have been doing the work you have climbed the steps to get to where you are and you're just kind of in a holding pattern right now but it looks like something's going to change in the month of October so keep your keep your spidey senses open and aware because they're going to be handing you that beautiful beautiful cup that's full of abundance and emotional fulfillment within your career and, and it's going to, this right here is going to dissolve immediately because this will be the case where you are so complete in yourself and so full in yourself that you will be, um, like you, you'll be so, un, your vibration's going to be so high, you'll be unaware of anything negative going on anywhere outside of you whether it has to do with you or not i mean it's just like it won't even be there you're going to be in your own little bubble moving forward doing what this passion is that started way deep in here in your sacral chakra and it's like coming out of the top of you beautiful beautiful gemini i can't wait to hear in the comments what that's all about i look forward to hearing it right now we're going to get the p.s Um, and listen guys thank y'all so much for all the likes and subscribes the bell notifications the uh, the comments oh my gosh you guys are so incredible um, right now 
I want to tell you, if you haven't subscribed, please do so if this has resonated with you. And right now we're going to ask God, guides, our angels, our archangels, and the Holy Spirit. Show us the PS for Gemini. What is the PS with this message? Please show us the PS for Gemini as it relates to career and money for October 2019. Thank you for the PS. Okay. Wow. You've got the hanged man. So, so this is, remember I said it's like you're in a holding pattern. They're confirming that. It's like you're in a holding pattern. Don't stress out. Don't get negative about it. Don't get discouraged about it. It's just a holding pattern. Look at it differently. It's a time for you to go within yourself. Um, develop these senses a little stronger. You know, just, just keep yourself prepared because this opportunity is right around the corner. This is the star. Okay, so the star is, is like the major arcana of the wish fulfillment card, Gemini. This is absolutely incredible. And, and this is something that she's the creator too. She creates things and she keeps everything balanced. Remember we talked about your little balance card? He, he's, he's more balanced than the traditional tarot. And so she keeps things uh, watered here and watered there. One foot in the water, one foot on the earth. It's like she's spiritually balanced with her physical reality. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. And none of this is gender specific. I know y'all know that. Look, the Queen of Wands. I love this card too, especially in this reading, because the Queen of Wands, look, there's your Nine of Wands. So you become, go from the Nine of Wands to the Queen of Wands, where you take everything. They're saying, yes, you're going to be able to take everything that you were that you've uh, that you've overcome or that you've learned in your career or or in life in general, and you're going to be able to put it to use in this uh, in this spread. It's showing that you're going to be able to put it to use. You become the queen of it. She's gracious. She's a nurturer. She's inspired. She is intuitive, and she's very passionate. Very passionate. Gemini, this is absolutely awesome. I can't wait to hear in the comments how what this was all about or what it's what you feel like it's about i look forward to that and until next time have a super duper day okay bye